music to Miss You Like Hell is very varied. It's the radio dial going up and down. Sundays, the museum was free. We'd go. Just mom and me holding onto her hand at the top of the stairs. Erin's music is so different from many other musicals because she has so much simplicity and it really, really is about the storytelling. It's massaging to the soul. It's poetic the way the music lands, I think. I think the cast album gives us this chance to hear some of the details that we couldn't get to hear in the theater and get to really enjoy the detailed work of our cast and our musicians. The orchestrations and the, the choice of instruments for this particular piece are beautifully put together. It's like poetry. I'm gonna miss you like hell There is a hole in the world in the shape of you Miss you like hell I love the story. You don't have any musical where there's a mother-daughter's relationship story. You could always say, oh well, it's been done. This one hasn't been done. No. Miss you like hell. There is a hole in the world in the shape of us. In the shape one of my favorites has always been tamales, which is the simplest song. It's a guy who sells tamales by the roadside saying his recipe. Masa, you measure the dough by hand. Put it Water, you move the door with a hand. Tamales, the way the guitar just plays with the bass. It's just this beautiful little dance. It's hard to really describe what it is that is so magical about the composition, but it's beautiful. I get lost in tamales. You know, I literally go into Abuela's kitchen. This is the way I remember. Wrap her arms like banana leaf. This is the way I remember. We've always imagined this piece reaching as many people as possible. This show provokes thought. A lot of different cultures can relate to a mother-daughter relationship, which brings everyone together and makes everyone feel like we're all connected. Mothers are the trickiest thing, the trickiest by far. Recording original cast albums is like incredible privilege. You go from having something that's a unicorn. I mean, it's like you see it, it's real when it's there, but then it's gone. Mandala's in the wind, you know? That's what theater is. And so to have a cast recording is kind of making a little piece of forever out of something very temporal. Everybody's voice is so interesting, like individually, like, and I mean like technically their singing voice as well as their like emotional, spiritual voice. It doesn't sound like a play, it sounds like a journey and you're in your car and you're listening to the songs and the windows roll down. Now I'm here, I used to reach and run away so I could disappear. It's beautiful, soothing music, and some of it has incredible motor, and some of it has a lot of just chill. It is a bit of a road trip. You could listen to it over and over. Here I 